The LAPD officers charged with filing false gang reports against dozens of innocent drivers and pedestrians have now pleaded not guilty. NBC4 I-Team investigator Eric Leonard broke the initial story on this case. He joins us live with an update. Eric. Hey, Michael, it's been more than a year since criminal charges were filed against this group of three officers suspected of filing those false reports. And after numerous delays, lawyers for the officers finally answered the charges in court in downtown L.A. this morning. Take a listen. Not guilty, Your Honor. Counsel for Mr. Coburn. Yes, Your Honor, not guilty. And Counsel for Mr. Martinez. Yes, Your Honor, not guilty. The accused officers were in court. They sat in the audience, though, where we were not allowed to photograph them. Here they are at a previous hearing. Officers Braxton Shaw, Michael Koblenz, and Nicholas Martinez. They face different charges, but all are essentially accused of filing false field interview cards like these that added the names of some innocent motorists and pedestrians to a statewide gang database. The officers worked out of the LAPD's Metropolitan Division, which is often sent to areas of the city where there are spikes in violent crime as a tactic to help catch armed criminals, and they do that by pulling over a lot of people and questioning them. The LAPD says it began to compare body-worn video recordings to the officers' gang reports after a mother in the San Fernando Valley complained that she got a letter informing her that her son had been added to a gang file, even though she knew her son had never been around gangs. Internal Affairs then found dozens of suspect gang reports, and at one point about a year ago, 20-some officers were under investigation. And after the I-team broke the story, the state attorney general's office opened its own investigation and it eventually cut off the LAPD's access to the state gang database. The L.A. County District Attorney's Office has filed criminal charges against another group of Metro officers who are also accused of filing false gang reports. Their case is in court later this month. And in an unrelated lawsuit, another Metro Division officer complained that they were constantly being pressured to produce statistics that showed they were stopping and questioning gang members while out on patrol. And some officers tell us they think that's why some of these reports were faked. The LAPD has denied there was pressure for statistics. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard. NBC4 News, back to you.